Hey y'all, this is Kasank Ma Keparu for Project Illuminated, and I'm out here, it's snowing, it's cold, and uh, there's still a lot of people out here, which is great. I was actually listening to some meditation tapes, and it's really good to do that if you're going to do like a long um, journey or travel. But I wanted to make this quick video to talk to you about how you don't have to do good. It's not important that you do good, because that's not what God wants from you. Now, what do I mean by that? See, you've come into this incarnation, this reality, with an agreement in mind. And that agreement is, well, actually, it could be anything, you know? See, God needs you to have an experience so the guy can understand himself better. And that experience can take the form of many, many different things. Everyone has a different and a separate experience. Um, wow, some people are like, they recognize me, I'm a star. But anyway... Um, the experience can be in a myriad different ways. Uh, for example, I can have an experience where I give love seeking nothing in return. That's ma'at. And every partner I get involved with, the women, they don't, they're not faithful to me. But you have to understand, though, that that's part of the agreement I made to get involved with these women who are not faithful. You know, So I may get married, and the marriage will end in a divorce, and it may seem terrible. But as long as I don't get caught up, in this illusion we call reality, and I understand that it's me helping source God or Netter have an experience so it can better understand itself, then it puts everything in perspective. Because you see, God doesn't want you to do good. That's not the important thing. Doing good is like coming into this existence with the idea of eating or breathing. That's a given. You should be breathing. You should be eating. You should be doing good. But the more important thing is for you to live out your incarnation objective, the agreement that you made. And sometimes, yes, the agreement may not be fair. You know, you may see others get into relationships and really prosper when they're doing bad things. But you get into a relationship and you're doing the most righteous and morally correct things, but terrible things are happening to you. That's because that's the agreement you made. And sometimes it also comes... It's a karmatic experience. It comes from a past life existence. It's karma coming back. And when I say karma, I don't mean like you're reaping what you sow. No, I mean that there are certain things that you have to experience. That's what I mean by karma. Not that you're going to be given bad things because you did bad in the past life. That's not what God wants to do. God does not punish you. God only brings things back into balance. And this is governed by the karmatic deities, Ma'at, which is truth, justice, and righteousness, and secret, which is destiny and cycles. So I want you to think about that because it's important that you understand that things in life may not be fair, but they're part of the agreement you made, and you're helping God to experience and know itself better. So this is uh, Kasankma Keparu with Project Illuminated, and uh, that's all for now.